to move amendments one to four as circulated in my name together. Uh, is leave granted? I call the call member Barker. Leave is granted. I give the call to member for Warringah. I'm, uh, I move uh, amendments one to four as circulated in my name together. These amendments are to clarify the intent of the amendments that are being made to the Family Law uh, Amendment Bill. As we know from many speeches from many members in this House, this is a very difficult and often uh, fraught area of law. It is often the first area where families have to interact with a system that they don't understand. They feel uh, uh, it is very expensive, it's vexatious, it's very difficult. And when parties come to the end of uh, the family law process um, with an outcome, it's important that our outcome is, uh, stand up uh, and have strength. And so the amendments that I proposed are, firstly, Amendment uh, 2 in relation to the circumstances in which a party may approach the court to reopen or revisit final orders. It's essentially the codification uh, of the, the test that was established in the case of Rice and Askland. An area that has been omitted in this amendment, though, uh, it, sorry, in the bill, and why this amendment is important, is to make very clear the timing at which those threshold considerations should be made. Because it's, it's vastly different for parties whether you're going to have to establish that there has been a significant change in circumstance since the making of final orders um, at the outset before being put to the expense and the effort and the anxiety of uh, re-contesting a final hearing in relation to parenting orders. Um, or whether that can be considered as part of a final hearing. So, uh, the amendment that I move seeks to make it very clear that the threshold elements of section, subsection 1 must be considered and determined before the commencement of any hearing of a proceeding to reconsider the final parenting orders. Um, uh, and in uh, the other uh, amendment that I seek to uh, move is in relation to the making of uh, uh, long-term decisions. So the bill has uh, repealed the section in relation to the presumption of shared parental responsibility, and with that comes the uh, requirement for both parties who share parental responsibility to make decisions together in relation to long-term issues, that being education, health uh, and religion traditionally. Now, the, the bill as amendment uh, is, asking, is encouraging people to consult in the making of those decisions. Now, we know that by the time parties attend the, the, the court to resolve a parenting dispute, they are generally not parties that are co communicating well. Um, and so the amendment that I move seeks to add the words to make a reasonable attempt at consulting with one another, because I think for these cases it can be incredibly difficult. Um, the final um, area that I am moving the amendment in relation to is in relation to contraventions. I welcome the changes that this bill does in relation to the court's powers uh, in relation to contraventions of orders. It is really frustrating and uh, for parties who have gone to the great trouble, the emotional toll and the expense of obtaining orders when they are then ignored or co uh, contravened. It's important that we have a clear system around that. But it's also important for people to be aware of that the, the Act provides for a, uh, a, a defence to a contravention of uh, family orders. Of parenting orders, um, and it's in, at the moment it's there is a basically a defence to say that I don't understand the effect of the orders, and that basically would mean a court could say there is no contravention. In circumstances where orders are obtained at great cost, at great expense, and at great anxiety and emotional toll, I think it's important the amendment that I propose to insert uh, a subsection AA that the person made a reasonable attempt to understand the obligation imposed by the orders. I think it's important that that onus is put back on parties, that they make all efforts to understand the effect of the orders. Um, I have met with the Attorney-General in relation to these concerns and raised them, and I understand the bill will be uh, referred to inquiry. And so for me, the importance is that these issues be considered, uh, whether it be in this place or the other place. But I think for uh, people participating or having to go through the family law system, 
It is important that we provide as much clarity as possible. Um, and I would like to reiterate uh, through the minister to the Attorney General the importance of potentially amending the explanatory memorandum to be very clear as to the intention of the amendments uh, and the intent in these provisions. Because this is an area of law where clarity makes a very big difference to people's lives. Thank you. The question is that the amendments be disagreed